Because at best, my name is Army Sergeant Aaron Loy, 407, currently on this Wednesday, March 18th. I'm broadcasting live from your favorite hiding spot, and it's not just me this hour. got two special guests in the studio with me. One, a little surprise, kind of excited about this one. But before I get to him, i got Mr. Jared Barrick, and I just got to give you your ginormous uh, intro here with your title. USAG Humphreys Family and MWRCYSS Youth Services Director Jared Barrick. That's a pretty awesome title, but not as awesome as your intro song, sir. No, that's just, oh, that's so nice of you. Well, uh, I appreciate you being here, Jared. Uh, you've been on the show, obviously, in the past with CYSS, that's Child Youth and School Services, but you're not the only one. I've got uh, Army Private Michael Simmons, nice enough to come on the mic as well. Yes, um, coming at you from the VIB, Visual Information Branch. Uh, 20 more days, so I'm almost out of here. 20 more days until you're PCSing, correct? Yes. And where are you headed to next? Headed to good old Fort Bragg. That is awesome. And uh, for someone listening hasn't heard you on the show before, what's your MOS? I'm a 25 mic multimedia illustrator. And so, um, like I said, I'm, I'm down at the VIB. You can see me with the camera in my hand. Sure. <laughs> well, I, I have to ask you, I mean, since we have a little bit of time here at the beginning, you're leaving, you you were here for a year, is that correct? Yes. Well, what would you like to say about your time here? Have you learned a lot? Are you thankful to kind of change scenery? Are you sad um, to go? I'm very sad to go. Like, honestly, I've loved my time here in Korea. I wish I could stay longer. Sure. Um, definitely is a place that I will be try trying to come back to in the future. I completely agree. It's a beautiful country, and it's yes, a great it place to serve as well. I agree with you. Yep. But, uh, Jared, I turn to you. We've got uh, CYSS stuff related, and uh, is it safe to say we've got Month of the Military Child uh, coming up? Here. We got some events to kind of highlight with that. Oh, absolutely. That'd be the safest thing you can say. We're going to talk all about the monthly military <laughs> child this hour. There you go. So, if you're a military child or you're a parent and you have one, uh, pertains to both of you. So, please keep on listening. We got some great stuff on the agenda. And speaking of, we got some music for you as well. A little less talking right now and more music. That is a flow rider or Florida, as I like to call him. My name is Army Sergeant Aaron Loy, 418 currently, and CYSS is in town. Literally, Child Youth and School Services. I got Jared Barrick, the Youth Services Director there. I appreciate you being here, Jared. Well, thanks for having me again. It's a pleasure Ab to be here. Absolutely. And Army Private uh, Michael Simmons, is that correct? Yes, it is. Make sure I get your name correctly. And uh, as we're saying at the top of the hour, you are uh, just uh, 20 days away from leaving, right? 20 days. Not that you're counting or anything. <laughs> and not at all. But uh, CYSS, if you've never heard of them before, or you might live under a rock, or maybe you just uh, PCS. It's Child Youth and School Services, and we were talking about that during the break. You guys cover just a smorgasbord of stuff, and uh, like, is, would you say like your main hub is near the exchange there, or one of? for what you deal with? Uh, we're spread out all over the yeah. place with our different age groups and sure. different activities going on. We offer everything from six months all the way to 18 years. So, uh, you know, the stuff I deal with with the teenagers, we're over there near the PX area. Okay. But, uh, right in the middle of the post, we at our Child Development Center. Sure. And we got brand new buildings being built too for the uh, transformation for the School Age Center and a new Child Development Center in the works. You know, I, I think it's pretty obvious that I've lived on an airbase a while because I'm pretty sure I just called it a BX. <sighs> I'm on a rear air force today. <laughs> I think is how it goes. But I appreciate you guys being here as I talked about at the top of the hour. Uh, next month, I believe, is month of the military child, correct? That is correct, sir. And uh, I don't know about you guys. I, I was a military child. My dad was in the Air Force 21 years. Uh, were, I, were either of you military children or you have family related at all? Um, not myself, no. No? What about you? My father served about 17 years in the National Guard. Oh, wow. Yep. Kudos. Well, thank him for serving. I know he can't <laughs> hear us, but figuratively, hopefully, uh, he can hear us. But uh, something I can relate to and we want to uh, give back of sorts. Is there a specific event that we want to highlight in this break? Oh, there's a number of events we're going to talk about. Uh, but right now, we're going to do a, a kickoff, like you said, our month of the military child, which is an opportunity every year in April where we recognize um, the service of the youth and uh, the children. Um, okay. Try to give back to them, plan some special events, free events, try to get the entire community involved. And what I'm looking at here says field day. I mean, I don't know about you, but I was a kid. That's what we called it. Like, go have a field day. What's this all about? Yeah, you're thinking of the exact same thing. That's probably why I called it. That. We're probably <laughs> from that same there area. you go. But uh, for, yeah, for the young people who don't know, field day. Yes, we're going to kick it off on April 10th um, with a month of the military field day um, for students in grades 6 through 12. This is an open event. You do not have to be CYS registered. Like I said, we're trying to give back to all the military youth, um, whether okay. you register with us or not. 
Um, it's going to take place at Independence Park. Um, that's right outside the main gate, and we have a full schedule of activities, uh, sports and fitness, fun challenges, um, things to keep the young people active and, and running around. We'll have capture the flag games, dodgeball, ultimate frisbee, kickball, soccer, disc golf, flag football, more soccer, more kickball. Oh, my gosh. And it's just going to go on and on. We'll be out there from 1 p.m. until 9 p.m. Which place is this again? It's at Independence Park. Independence Park. Yep, right outside of the main gate of uh, Camp Humphreys. Okay. And uh, like I said, we'll go from 1 to 9 p.m. Um, we'll keep our fitness uh, games and challenges, things going on all the way till about 6.30 or 7 p.m. Um, once it starts getting dark, we're going to have a large uh, movie projector, outdoor movie projector screen out there. And then we're going to cook up some dinner. We're going to have a cookout for them uh, free of charge with hot dogs, uh, chips, sodas. Um, and we'll put a movie on for them at the end of the night from about 7 to 9 p.m. I mean, so it's an open house event, too. You don't need to sign up. You don't need to pre-register. You can show up anytime from 1 to 9 p.m. and just run out in the field and we'll get you hooked up on a team or what's going on and uh, have a good time. Yeah, you really got nothing to lose there and I think it's perfect timing whether it's intentional or not. I'm assuming it is, but that time of year, this time of year rather, uh, crazy good weather and hopefully it'll be great weather for that as well to be doing stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. The weather's breaking and that's the last uh, Friday of their spring break as well. So, you know, hopefully we'll catch timing. some people might be taking a trip at the beginning of the week, coming back, but get ready to school, come on out and have some fun with us. And like you were kind of hinting there, we've advertised and we continue to do obviously many different CYSS events, but I'd say the majority of them, your child has to be registered with a CYSS, but this is not one of those events. I want to make sure I really make a point to do that because if nothing else, you can just come and see the type of stuff that you guys put on. Absolutely, that is correct. Everything we do uh, normally is registered, but this one is an open event, open for everybody 6th through 12th grade. Even parents want to come by and stop and, and see what we do. Um, we'll have even old registration papers out there for them too, uh, information sure. to get signed up because anything with the team program is free of charge. Just a matter of paperwork. Um, but yeah, show up on April 10th. We'll have all our staff out there. Um, be able to talk to you. We'll, the kids are there. We'll get them out there having a good time. No problem. Too easy. I mean, when I was younger, um, I'm, I'm assuming they changed the name. I always wanted to ask this question. I'm not sure if you're familiar at all. But when I was younger, my dad was in the military. I was part of the AYA. Does that, does that ring a bell at all? That was their kind of youth program of the time. And this would have been like mid to late 90s. But be curious to look that up and see if it was just a name change or how that worked. I unfamiliar yeah. with that acronym. Mm, the mystery goes uh, unsolved. <laughs> I'll have something to do. I'll look that up tonight. Sure. Well, what about you, Private Simmons? I mean, you you said you your dad served in the National Guard. My father served in the National Guard, but um, I really was never a part of any other youth. Sure. Things. Every now and again, they would have different um, events that we would go to, but nothing. May Major, really. But you, if like you were a youth here. today on Camp Humphreys, you'd sign up oh, for would, every I one of these love programs, it. right? It's like, I would, I would do it in it. a heartbeat. I said jump, and you say how high. <laughs> Did I, I mention you... the registration's free? There you go. <laughs> right? No, it's, it's very cool. And, uh, I mean, you said your dad served there. Uh, obviously, it's a little different because he wasn't doing it active duty, uh, so to speak. But uh, just to kind of plug your brain, I'm curious, what made you, you join? Was it, Did that have any influence on you joining the military? Uh, yes, I knew that... Um, I knew that joining the military, you know, I would be coming into like a really good team of, of things, of, of people and other yeah. things. And I've kind of, I've always loved to travel. So, you know, the military is just right up my alley for this. It affords you a lot of those great benefits. I agree. Yep. I, and I, it, I love my job. It's like, it's, this is what I see myself doing, you know, in the world. So the fact that I get to do it and serve my country, all the better. I completely agree. It's a very uh, well said words. We'll take our first break here. We got more CYSS on the way. What's up? We're Hot Shell Ray. And you're watching YCTV. Perfect. There we go. That, was that easy. Nailed it. <laughs> and that's the wrap. That is brand new track, Life of Dylan is the name of that band, and the song Overload. I'm not going to overload you with too much information, uh, just two more things we want to cover. One specifically, and if you haven't figured out already, next month is Month of the Military Child. We want to highlight a lot of different events through CYSS, it's Child, Youth, and School Services, and it just so happens I got two guys in the studio with me that are kind enough to come on the air and talk about them. I got Army Private Michael Simmons, who's on his way out, got about 20 days, not that he's counting, but uh, in the studio, thanks for being here. No problem. And then also Jared Barrick, uh, USAG Humphreys Family and MWR, CYSS Youth Services Director. 
is his name. That's me. Thanks for having me. I just like saying it. It's like a good uh, tongue twister, like exercise as a DJ. I just think I need to be like, you know, it's like uh, Anchorman when he's like, unique New York. Good pre-show yes. warm-up. <laughs> the human torch was denied a bank loan. And, you know, it's just a good one for me to, uh, to use. Good. But uh, I appreciate you being here. Next month is Month of the Military Child. We were kind of joking during the break. Maybe they need to do like Month of the Military Parent and have a child lock out because that's the opposite of what we want to talk about. A child lock in, correct? Absolutely. Well, it's a, p- a good opportunity for the parents to put the children somewhere else too. So we're giving back there to the community that way. We'll take I like care the of way you night. think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is an annual event. Uh, it's a, uh, we're going to run it on April 25th through April 26th. Okay. Um, Saturday night into Sunday morning, uh, 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. the next morning at the Humphreys Community Fitness Center, um, known to some people, not me, as the, the Super, Super Gym. Gym. Again, I like to call it the Humphreys Community, Community Fitness, Fitness Center. Center. But if you're I like teen, the branding there. There you go. If you're a teen and you want to sign up, come to the Super Gym. <laughs> <laughs> I love how PC you are. I love it. There's definitely certain people that are listening right now. They're like, thank you, Jared. They're proud of me right Yes, now. exactly. But uh, it is a lock-in. Uh, and these are a lot of fun. Again, as I was saying earlier, my dad was in the military. And I went to a few of these when my dad was in the military. And I think they're tons of fun because it's kind of unlike anything else you can really do activity-wise. Yeah, and it's, it's a great location for us to be in there. Um, we have the whole gym to ourselves. That's awesome. Um, so we got tons of activities planned, uh, basketball games, uh, gym competitions. We're going to set up our own video games, uh, all the brand new Xbox Ones, PlayStation 4s, so we have video game tournaments. Um, and the real cool thing about this event, it's an annual event, and it's done... Um, Every, all the military installations are encouraged to participate in on the same weekend. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so in honor of Month of the Military Child, we're going to try to connect um, here with all the other uh, Korea bases that will be performing a lock-in on the same weekend. So we're going to try to see if we can get some Skype. I was just going to say that. That's like what that. I was picturing in my head, like some FaceTime or Skype or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. That's the plan. So, that's um, so cool. We try to do that every year, uh, and then we can come back and, and uh, you know, we make videos and things like that and share with all the other bases, and we get to see what people did in Japan, what they did in the States, what they did in Hawaii, and we all come together at the same same time frame um, every year for the month of the military child and the lock-in's going to be April 25th through the 26th. I really like the idea of that because speaking as someone who was a military brat so to speak uh, I think it kind of fell on deaf ears to me when I grew up that like other kids were going through the same stuff that I was and that's a great way you can kind of look out and say hey I'm not the only person that lives in that kind of different unorthodox military life. That's right we take this uh, event as an opportunity to talk about that as well. Um, you know we have some discussions and, and let the you know, we, we always try to do something about where have you been, and I think that's a big thing where the kids can talk about different stations they've been at, different parts of the world, different parts of the United States, and just hear about how many places these young people have been um, throughout their whole lives. You know, some of them 16, 17 years sure. old, have been all over the place, and to be able to share that with yes. the people who are here, um, as well as to get on Skype and talk to the other military kids that are having the lock-in at the same time, it's a pretty cool thing. And, and I'll tell you, speaking as someone who did, it can definitely have its challenges, but I would say the, the kind of benefits far outweigh them because... Because like you said, you'll see kind of see more culturally, geographically than most people will in America, like in their entire life. Yeah, in a lifetime. But yeah, you're exactly right. There are pros and cons. And we discuss both of those, the pros and the cons. Uh, and we try to, you know, let the young people see that they're not the only ones going through sure. the cons. Um, and if you can focus on the positive things you've gained throughout your travels, and it really will help you uh, later in your future life. What about you guys? Did you guys kind of stay in a centrally located area growing up? Or did you guys do a lot of moving? When I was younger, um, I primarily moved a lot between South Carolina, North Carolina, and um, Ohio most of my life. I've just always been... So it's pretty centrally located. Circling between those three. So even as someone who might not have been a huge military brat, so to speak... Joining the military kind of has the same effects, though. Yes. You get to go to places like Korea, like you said, traveling, and really get to kind of shape you as a young adult. Yeah. Yeah, I completely agree. And what about you, Jared? I grew up in the city of Detroit, so when okay. I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to go pretty much past my driveway. Oh, wow. It was kind of... And you're not difficult. joking, are you? I am not joking, yeah. no. And, uh, no, my world was pretty small growing up, and yeah. even, uh, even as a teenager and going into college was still kind of small. I never even got on an airplane until I was 30 years old. Wow. See, there you go. I learn a lot more from the kids than they do from me. It's a, it's a great job that I'm into. They, you know, like I said about the pros and the cons of moving around, I learned so much from these young people. Um, you know, I take a lot more from them than, than I, I try to give back to them, but uh, it's a great opportunity. Well, it very much shows, and I appreciate you being here talking about CYSS. we got more show on the way. We'll take another break here after Area 3 Radio News.
welcome back. It is 4.48 currently. That was Ashley Simpson, L-O-V-E, of course. Spells love. And I got two lovely guests in the studio with me. I've got Army Private Michael Simmons, who's a kind enough to come on before PCS is in uh, 20 days. Thanks for being on the air. No problem. Love to be here. <laughs> Absolutely. And then uh, Jared Barrick, uh, return guest, of course, with CYSS. He's the Youth Services Director. I appreciate having you on the show. I appreciate you letting me be on the show. Absolutely. So we want to wrap up the show here. One more month of the Military Child kind of related events and we want to be intentional about that. It's a very important thing. Uh, kids who do serve of sorts uh, as their parents serve as well. And the final thing we want to cover, if you don't like it, uh, I would say you're not American, but you're just probably not human. And that is food. We got a cookout on the agenda. We got a cookout on there. Yes, sir. It's going to be the last day of the month. And like you said, a month of the military child is very important. So we do want to keep saying it is one of the biggest uh, things of the year that CYS does is, is to honor the month of the military child every April. Um, so on April 30th, we're going to end the whole thing with very simple, very basic, and sometimes the most appreciative things are simple and basic. Sure. And we're going to hold a, an open house and a cookout at our youth center, uh, Building 427. Um, we're going to invite everybody, uh, parents, uh, anybody, parents and kids want to come by Building 427, April 30th uh, from 4 to 6 p.m. We'll be outside cooking hot dogs, we'll have uh, drinks, we'll have potato chips. Um, everything like that and uh, we just want to invite everybody to come on in check out what the youth center has um, get information about all the programs that CYS has to offer and just let CYS say uh, thank you uh, to the month for the month of the military child to the children the families to the service members um, everybody again just very simple just want to say thank you and we appreciate you and we're going to do it on April 30th uh, 4 to 6 p.m. outside building 427 uh, free of charge no pre-registration necessary no CYS registration necessary just come on outside building 427 April 30th from 4 to 6 p.m. Grab a free meal um, and let us say thank you. And that's what I love about all of this stuff. I mean, I could sit here and talk about how it's the perfect time of year because Korea, once it gets into those crazy, like, August-ish months, I mean, it's just 100% humidity. You're kind of miserable. The end of April... That's about as perfect as you can get temperature-wise, I think, for doing something like this, a cookout. Yeah, we're planning on it. Um, yeah. Not too hot, not too cold. Now that um, I've said that, we're going to yeah, get a we'll blizzard, see. so sorry. <laughs> no, you we know what? snow cones that it, day. It's funny. Uh, the things we do for the month of the military child always seem to work out for us. I think it's a sign. It's, it's yeah. just a great great, uh, great month uh, to be a part of. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to good weather out there from 4 to 6 p.m. And if it's bad weather, it's okay. Come inside. I'll go out there under an umbrella, and I'll cook for you. I'll bring the food inside. You're you a good man. You away from me. I'll bring it to you. There you go. Well, we very much appreciate appreciate that and uh, again of all these events and correct me uh, if i'm wrong here but uh free is that what i'm talking about here free free is the correct price and free is everybody's favorite price i mean nothing says i care like free so uh, if you guys don't attend these things i mean we might cry a little bit because you guys are putting these on out of the goodness of your heart to support uh, military children. That's what we enjoy doing. Um, you know, I wouldn't be here without uh, the military child, without the military service members. So, you know, uh, this is my job, um, and it means a lot to me to be able to give back like this. So, uh, yes, please take advantage of it. Come on out for all these great activities free of charge. Um, we have so many other activities going on as well, so stop by the Youth Center Building 427. I can give you the full calendar of events. Um, you can call our parents' central office at 753 753- 3413. There's a number of events going on for younger children as well that we didn't speak of here today. Sure. Um, so if you have a child six months to 18 years of age, we have something going on for you. So please call 753 3413 and they'll get you in touch with the right director for your age group. Too easy. We'll take our last break here. We'll be back in 90 seconds. Wrap it up. Myself. So I appreciate you guys coming on the show. Jared, before we say uh, goodbye, anything uh, we missed or any uh, plugs that they want to contact you guys, either online or phone or anything? Yeah, I just want to encourage people, they can check out our Teen Center Facebook page at Humphreys CYS Teen. Gives you all the updated information, schedules, and announcements. If you have any questions about the schedule or want to, you can call me directly. My name is Jared Barrick. Call me at 753-5614. If you need to get your child registered at any age level, you can call our Parent Central Office, 753-3413. There it is, Jared and Private Simmons. Appreciate you guys being on. Let's play you out with music right now. It's Atlas Genius. If so...